Empire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your hosts, Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Jason Outlaw, and music by yours truly, Lance LaRock. Tonight's guests, we have Zedico Pole Boys, Brandon Trahan, from Lipstick and Berries, Ashley Diana, and musical performance by Cameron Detman. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who's feeling the burn, Mr. Jason Outlaw. DJ Lance LaRock. Thank you, thank you. That's right, that's right. How you doing, Lance? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. How about you, All right, brother? hey, thanks for joining us, man. We appreciate right. thank it. Thank you, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. All right, it. you f filling in for, for uh, Lenny? I'm feeling the burn. Yeah, yeah he's feeling the burn, <laughs> yes. I'm Where feeling, are you feeling the burn? I'm feeling the burn, too, but it's, it's in places we can't really talk about on all regular right, TV. Good. It happens to the best of us, it happens to the best of us. All right, it's all right. <laughs> all right, so. Once again, we want to thank everyone for being here tonight. We really appreciate you all hanging out. Uh, so here is what's in the news. Playboy magazine is going to stop placing nude women in its magazines. In an effort to change the magazine, that's right, yes. <laughs> so now men everywhere actually have to read it for the articles. <laughs> That's true, that's true. The Democratic debate was held in Las Vegas just this last Tuesday. The candidates, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders and three other guys. <laughs> um, but there were a few surprises. Hillary Clinton described her uh, Depends problem, while Bernie Sanders talked about how he built the flux capacitor. <laughs> that's right. Um, <laughs> Really exciting news from ABC. ABC has came out with some great news uh, to the American public. They are canceling the show The View. <laughs> yes, but the girls from The View, they said they're not worried because they're going to go to another network and start their own show. They're going to call it Good Morning to You from the Stunk Up The View. <laughs> Chinese scientists have found a new chemical compound uh, in the venom of a centipede native to China that can act as a painkiller with no negative side effects like those associated with our current drugs. If I ever get out of, the, uh, if I ever get out of here, I want to try that, said Lamar Odom. Oh. 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 Is that too soon? Is that too soon? Is that too? It's 48 hours. It's 48 hours. <laughs> It's 48 hours. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> I like that one, Lance. You like, I like that, was, that was for you. Lance wrote that one. Blame him. <laughs> Blame the new guy. Uh, shares of Walmart fell more than 10% Wednesday, the largest decline in more than 27 years, uh, when they announced that everyone has to wear shirts. <laughs> That's right. That's right. No more people of Walmart. Reminds me of the girl with her pants pulled up around her breast. All right. Uh, customers, yes, they have to wear shirts, yes, yes. Um, in a recent survey, uh, when asked their favorite restaurant, teens think Starbucks is a restaurant. Yes, hey, but I can see this because these are the same teens that also think Nicki Minaj has talent. Nikki, <laughs> yes, it's all paid for though. Yes, Did you see her booty before? It was like, Ni Nicki Minaj's in. booty before looked like she had a hole in her back. <laughs> you know, you're like, what, is that just a hole in the lower back? What is that? <laughs> Motorola and Verizon Wireless are preparing to unveil their 2015 line of drone phones. That's the phones that nobody wants, but you get it for free. That's true, you do get it for free. A 560-pound man vowed to bike across America to win his wife back, and it worked. He did get his wife back. However, the bike is still in the hospital. <laughs> Could you imagine that? <laughs> that bike's like, ah! <laughs> pulling across the thing. 
Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> so uh, don't expect to run into Bill Belichick, the coach of the New England Patriots, at the grocery store anytime soon. Reports say he has not been in the supermarket in over two years. Last time he was in the supermarket, he was kicked out for de deflating the happy birthday balloons. <laughs> He deflated him. He's, that's, yeah, okay. Um, Hulk Hogan. Everyone knows Hulk Hogan, a professional wrestler? Yes. <laughs> all right, it's, it's, it's mixed. All right, good. Uh, Hulk Hogan said people actually feel bad that the media has been so abusive to him over his racist comments. That's right. Actually, they feel bad when your shirt is off, Hulk Hogan. That's right. What you gonna do when your skin starts sagging on you? <laughs> brother. <laughs> That's right, brother. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, those are pretty good. Gosh, you guys are good. Yes, yes. Uh, Netflix is gonna raise your monthly subscription price to $9.99. Yeah, oh, d that's news to her. <laughs> what? Oh my Netflix God. and chill used to be so yes. cheap. <laughs> the CEO says raising your monthly subscription will improve next Netflix ability to acquire and offer high quality content, which won't be available when you want to watch it. <laughs> We've all been there. We're like, where's that? Where's that movie? <laughs> happens all the time. <laughs> um, an eight-year-old boy is being sued by his aunt for $127,000 for inducing an injury when he ran over to his aunt at his birthday party to give her a hug and knocked her over. That's right. I needed more campaign funds, said Carly Fioroni. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bam. Oh, okay, we got some Republicans she out there. Some, cool. She got some supporters out there. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, Carly, she's not ugly, according to Donald Trump. 54-year-old uh, Florida resident was arrested for a DUI in his uh, handicapped scooter. That's right. <laughs> Monday night, uh, police got a uh, report that a man in a motorized wheelchair was blocking traffic. When asked about it, Jeb Bush said, oh, I was just having some fun. <laughs> That's my figure eight. That's my figure eight. Um, in a recent, there's a recent article out that says more people have died this year from selfies gone wrong than shark attacks. That's true, so be careful with your selfies. So it's safer to have your picture taken with a shark than it is to take a picture of yourself. Unless you're crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. Aww. That's true. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your DJ, Lance LaRock! <laughs> is the owner of the newest restaurant here in downtown Las Vegas, Zydeco Po' Boys. Please give it up for the Po' Boy expert, Brandon Trahan. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Please have a seat. So, your grand opening was today. Tell us yes. all about it. Um, we had um, the mayor come by and um, Congresswoman uh, Dana Titus. And we had gumbo samples, uh, smoked boudin, and we had our po' boy sandwiches. Yum. Woo! Yeah. Woo! So you're clearly from the South. Tell us about your inspiration for opening a restaurant. Uh, I grew up in Southwest Louisiana, so my inspiration is uh, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking money. There you go. Um, <laughs> it's about. Um, my Cajun culture and you know showing people what you know real Cajun food is and um, we do it we do our own custom um, sausages in-house we make everything from scratch so it's all traditional and and real Cajun cooking so where'd you learn to cook Cajun uh, from my mama yeah <laughs> like all southern boys right yeah. so what made you want to bring Cajun food to downtown Las Vegas um, you know, through the downtown project, the opportunity, and um, there was a really a need for you know a really good sandwich shop, and uh, I took the advantage and and, and did it. Um, I think that you know, there needs to be more Cajun restaurants. And it's like a counter style, right? Not right. Super it's um, it's um, walk up counter. So yeah, it's not you know it's not table service. Yeah, just walk up to the counter, place your order, and we'll bring it out to you. 
What's your Fish favorite? Fish sandwiches in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly some of the audience has already yeah. been there. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing on the menu? My favorite thing on the menu is fried catfish po' boy. Ah. Okay. Yeah. It's, a good, it's a good sandwich. Yeah, so where's the restaurant located? Where can people find it? We're you? at um, 616 East Carson, number 140. We're between 6th and 7th Street. All right. Um, See you there, bro. All right, man, come on down. <laughs> so, grand opening today. What's in store for, do you, do you guys have brunch? Uh, no, we don't have brunch. Um, I mean, we stay, you know, we are a sandwich shop, so. Yeah. Um, sandwich shop with like red beans and rice and, and uh, chicken and sausage gumbo. All right, yeah. So, and we're we have, excited to try it. We have. Uh, you just uh, gotta ignore that guy. We have uh, New Orleans style daiquiris, uh, and we have uh, Louisiana beer, a beer beer and um, domestic beer. Oh, delicious. So. What All right. happy hour? Well, we're excited to come visit it's you. It's always happy hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New Orleans, where you can drink right. on the streets, like in right. Las Vegas. That's why we like that. Woo. All right, well, thank you for being here. We're so excited. Congratulations on your thank grand you. opening, and we're definitely going to come visit you. Thank you for having me. All right, thank you. Up next, we have Ashley Diana. <laughs> audience thought they were the audio. That was good. All right, anyway, so our next guest is an amazing blogger who loves healthy food and healthy eating, and we are going to learn a little bit about some of the best shakes she has to offer. Please put your hands together for Ashley Diana. Come on out. Yay. Oh, welcome. Hi Very colorful. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank okay. You. So yeah. you go ahead and sit there. I will sit here, and then I will move over when we start getting into okay. this game. But before we get into this game, let's learn a little bit about your life. Okay. So why, like, why eat healthy? It's so hard and it's not taste, hard. Why not eat tasteless healthy? and all that stuff? That is so untrue. Just wait till you try these shakes. <laughs> all right. Well, talk to me about healthy eating. <laughs> Well, you know what? I, I kind of fell upon it by accident. I, um, I grew up, you can tell by my accent. Yeah. I have a really strong accent. Of right. Roll Tide or something. <laughs> something like that, right? <laughs> well, you know what? I like grew up on all like the Southern comfort food, and I just happened to hear a doctor on television one day that was talking about how Phil? you can eat all the whole, whole foods, plant-based foods you want. You don't have to count your calories. And I was like, what? Like that is what oh, I want to do. Oh, it's based on laziness. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, At first. Up. At first, for sure. <laughs> No, yeah, I didn't, sure. I didn't think we'd connect, but just right no, away. No, yeah. you, like, you don't surprised. even know. Yeah. You don't even know. Okay. So at first I was like, oh, that caught my attention. I was like, I am sick and tired of counting my calories. So I was like, I'm going to give this a shot. But what turned out is that it ended up, um, I had terrible acne. Um, eating a plant-based diet ended up heal curing my acne. I ended up um, curing my symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. And um, my ex-husband at the time ended up reversing his heart disease. Wow. So I, at that All point right. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so once that happened, I was like, this is not a trend. This, I want to tell everyone that I know about this. Right. And so I decided the best way to do that was through social media. Okay. And I had never done any of it before, but I was like, I am, I want to tell everyone. So I started. Clear up the acne. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you are famous, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but if I'm like already in like peak physical shape, is there any benefits? Well, you know or... what? You can look like whatever you want to, but you don't know what's going on on the inside. Oh, it's true. I could be. Yeah. You could be falling apart on the could inside. Could be all looks, yeah. It is very true. <laughs> you okay. look good. It's okay. And we hope you but, uh, look yeah. good on the inside, too. Right, okay. Looking good on the inside is another benefit. So um, tell me about uh, what are you doing at AshleyDiana.com and how did you get this huge social media following? Well, um, so as far as the social media following, I like I said, I just knew that I wanted to spread the message with as many people as possible. So I, I got obsessed. And I think if you get obsessed with something, you can just spread the message as much as you want yeah, to. Unless it's a girl. Well, you know what? That might get a laugh, <laughs> Just go ahead with being white at that. Well, you know what? I, as far as like the business side of it, like I, I just, I, 
I was super passionate about spreading the message. So I think people can feel your passion through what you do. So I took photo food photography classes. I practice recipes all the time. So the combination of both of those and spreading positivity, I think it just grew my following and the supporters. And so I'm happy that people now and today are really interested in living a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, Amy, spreading the positive message, just like finding people who are doing the right thing already and just encouraging them? Or how do you do that? I, I think we all need motivation every day yeah. and inspiration. So not only just through recipes, I just think, if, I mean, I'm sure you've seen, seen my Instagram page, but I think the power of color, power of color is, um, people are attracted to light and positivity and color. So I like to, um, it may not be a recipe, but I like to have photos of fruit and fr I make fruit rainbows and fruit, um, fruit art. And I just want to attract people who may not have come across the lifestyle otherwise. Just to sh share with positivity, I share positive quotes, just anything that makes them happy to be alive and to get through their day and feel amazing. Okay. Um, what's, your, what's the best quote you got? What's the, la what's the last quote you gave somebody? We all have something unique to share. Okay. And if you don't share it, no one will get that message. So share your message, people. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to be bringing out someone who's got a little bit of anger towards me, and she's going to get a chance to grab one of these eggs. Oh, my God. Now, there's 12 eggs in here. Ten of them are hard-boiled, and two of them are not. So it's a little bit of a game that we have called so we need to get them omelet right. roulette. <laughs> and she's going to take it. Now, I don't know why they talked me into it, but she'll smash it against my forehead, I guess. I mean, yes, that's what's going to happen. I just so want to So if I get them it, yeah. right or wrong? Uh, so, if you, so if you two can con connect over the right flavor, then egg gets smashed against my head. Got oh, it? OK. OK. Yeah. So, Anyways, but um, so Jillian does a lot of work behind the scenes, so everybody knows actually booking all of the guests and handles a lot of emails and a lot of Things that are unrecognized, yeah. a lot of work. A lot of unrecognized stuff, so um, yeah. And uh, I guess this is my thank you. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. OK, so Brandon, try that one. You have three words to describe what smoothie it is. Chocolate. I get okay. banana. Okay, I'm gonna say German chocolate cake. <laughs> All right. Wait, there's I don't your mean... oh. Oh. oh, German chocolate cake. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you actually needed one word there. Yeah. Chocolate. There you go. All right. Hey. Just to do real, just do real quick though. Water. Don't stand in front of me. Okay. I feel so powerful right now. That was the best. No, I don't. Well, I have to do it so without it. Yeah. Smell. Do you see how hard? No, this stinks. <laughs> don't put it on. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Next smoothie. Amazing. <laughs> you know how bad that would have been? Right? Heart yeah. disease cure. Peanut butter. Chocolate covered. peanut Everybody. butter cup. <laughs> All right. Let's turn it. hold that one up. <laughs> Oh, correct again, The peanut again, butter huh? cup. We're oh, giving another one. Yeah. Right. Two for two. I feel like there's too much going on. Yeah. I didn't get it on me. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh, no. Keep this game going. Right. Uh, you look amazing. Thank you. All right. Oh. I'm going to do a milkshake. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that, that it's very great. intense, you guys. It's like a water balloon, but... Pineapple. <laughs> you, pineapple? I mean... Upside down. <laughs> if it's... Ashley, which one is it? Pineapple upside down cake. Oh. Pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> Pineapple upside down cake. Yay! I don't know if I want to get any more right. I get any It doesn't get any worse than this. Oh, hard boiled. So every one of those flavors is still in my mouth because I, I have no water to clean my You don't my have palate. a palate cleanser. Oh, we didn't this talk about that. This is a chef. Donovan. This is a chef right here. I need, I need he needs a palate cleanser. 
He didn't even think about his palate? Wait, no, no, think about his palate. What, what kind of crew? Where's our content here? Like, they're going to have to answer you, this. You have hard boiled egg. Okay. Face. I did like yeah, some. The gingerbread man. Okay, well, I'm going to say pumpkin pie. Oh, pumpkin? <laughs> the gingerbread man. I oh, love it. Pumpkin pie. Okay. You got the pumpkin spicy. Spice. Yes, 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 yes. I kind of thought there'd be more suspension. Oh. Oh, another hard boiled. We got to have one more. All right. <laughs> no, there, so 10 of the 12 are hard boiled. Yes. I know. You guys got lucky on that second one. One more that's not. I was really hoping to escape without that, that moment that happened. Orange creamsicle. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think she knows her menu, guys. <laughs> good job, good and job. You, made, you made these up? Orange creamsicle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You said, how did you come up with orange creamsicle? Egg, 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 egg. egg, 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 egg. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's the worst, man. No, that went on me too. That that was pretty bad. The champ, anyway. No, no. Oh, there was one more. No, that was necessary. But uh, anyways, yeah. Thank you guys for playing. We did awesome, guys. Thank you. We just want to take this break to thank our sponsor, theironyard.com. Life is too short for the wrong career, and at theironyard.com, you can go from beginning to expert all in one place. The Iron Yard exists to create an exceptional growth and mentorship experience for people and their ideas through a tech-focused education. So check out theironyard.com, change your career, and thank you for watching the Downtown Podcast. This is Dylan Jorgensen signing off. So much time since my baby's gone away. I got walls and walls and pictures to take down either way. Now my love is blind, it doesn't know what he's. Yesterday you were my soulmate And now you're just an end date to me I've got to reevaluate Every single thing in my life Nothing feels the same Just another face in your eyes can't believe that you're gone And I, I cannot seem to figure out I did it wrong And now all I got Is so much time And now my days are hazy They all just seem to blend together Sunshine now it's just in the stormy weather. I've got to be where you wait every single thing in my life. Nothing feels the same, just another fish in your eyes. I can't. Can't believe that you're 
this evening. Thank you to our live studio audience, our cast and our crew, and to all of you at home. Remember, you're all welcome to come be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night here at the Inspire Theater and join us for the after party at the rooftop. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube for online only content. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and Instagram at Downtown Podcast. Thank you, peace and love, and be kind to one another. <laughs>